Uh, namaste. Uh, welcome to Papson Distance Learning Education program collaborated with Janta Television, uh, live from Janta Television. Uh, so this is class 9, subject science, and uh, topic uh, for today is measurement that we continue from previous classes. Uh, so before starting this uh, measurement, uh, let's uh, quickly revise what we have done previously in previous classes in the day one. So in measurement, uh, we have previously we have uh, defined the measurement and uh, physical quantity that also defined in the first class and the type of physical quantity also that is fundamental quantity and the derived quantity that also we have uh, defined. We defined on the previous classes or first class and uh, similarly uh, about the unit also we have discussed previously and its type also like fundamental unit and the derived unit that we have discussed previously. And today we will continue uh, the measurement chapter. Okay, so uh, today uh, we will discuss the measurement uh, of length, uh, measurement of mass, measurement of time, and also uh, we will discuss the scientific notation that is called the power of chain also. That also we will discuss in today's class. So let's start the measurement of length. So uh, what is measurement of length is suppose I have one line here right and if i wants to know the what is the length of this then it is the uh, distance from the initial point and the ending point so distance between the two point that is known as the length okay uh, this uh, measurement of length uh, measurement of mass and measurement of time that is the extra knowledge Okay, that is essential for numerical problem to read the physics. That's why we are gaining the extra knowledge about this measurement of length, measurement of mass, and the measurement of time. Okay, so measurement of length or length mean simply it is the distance between the two point that is known as a length, right? Now, uh, for measuring the length, there should be the some standard unit. For example, what is the length of one meter? That should be known and that is known as the one standard meter. And this one standard meter can be defined as the, the distance between the two fine gold line, which is drawn on the platinum iridium uh, rod, which is preserved at the uh, uh, place, which is at the place of Paris, right? It is also uh, known as the International Bureau of Weights and Measure. There is preserved the one special kind of rod, and the distance between the two fine gold line drawn on that place is known as the one standard meter. But later on, uh, that more uh, revised, the definitions of this one standard meter is revised one and by the Geneva Conference of Weight and the Measures, which is defined as the, it is the distance traveled by the light in the vacuum in the time interval of 1 by 299 and 7, 792 and uh, 458. So this much interval of time, the light travels shortened distance in the vacuum, which is also known as the one standard meter, right? And in the length also, there is a multiple and the sub-multiple of unit, especially the uh, SI unit of uh, length is the meter. We use the meter for measuring the length in the SI system of unit. Centimeter is there on the CGS system of unit, and foot is there on the FPS system of unit. And in the SI system of unit, the different multiple and the sub-multiple uh, are there of the meter. So let's discuss about this multiple and the sub-multiple of a meter. So uh, that is given on the slide also. You can see on the screen also, right? There is a different multiple of meter and the sub-multiple is there. So for remembering this, how we can remember, let's see. So let's write down like this. So milli, so first we will write down the milli, then after centi and dc meter and deca hecto and kilometer so let's write on this kilometer okay so milli centi deci meter deca hecto 
kilometer. These are the multiple and the sub-multiple of a meter, right? Now, if you want to convert from one system of unit to another system of unit, then how we can convert? Let's see. So remember that there is 10 differences are there between this. So remember this, 10 differences are there. Here also, 10 differences are there between these two. So here also, 10 differences are there between these two. And here also, 10 differences are there. 10 difference and uh, again, 10 difference are there, right? So how we can convert, let's see, millimeter, right? That is write down that mm also. So 10 millimeter equals to 1 centimeter, right? There is a 10 difference is there. That's why 10 millimeter equals to 1 centimeter, right? Similarly, you can get this also, that is 10 centimeter equals to one decimeter, right? 10 centimeter equals to one decimeter. So yeah, I've got the knowledge about this also. 10 decimeter equals to one meter, 10 meter equals to one decameter, 10 decameter equals to one hectometer, and 10 hectometer equals to one kilometer. So if you remember this, then we can easily convert the length right, from one system of unit to another system of unit. So let's check some of the example of this one, so how we can convert from one system of unit to another system of unit. So you can see on the screen, there is 17 centimeter is there that we want to change into the meter. So let's see, 17 centimeter into meter. So we want to convert centimeter to meter. So one more thing you have to remember in this, so if you are converting from smaller unit, smaller unit to bigger unit, right? Smaller unit to bigger unit, then we need to divide, okay? We need to divide. Okay, we will explain this later on also, right? And if we want to convert from bigger unit, suppose bigger unit to to smaller, then we need to multiply, okay? So remember this, smaller to bigger, we need to divide, and the bigger to smaller, we need to multiply. Now, which number is there to multiply? Which number is there to divide? Let's check. So we have the question, this 17 centimeter into meter, right? So let's check here. Centimeter is here, and the meter is here. So centimeter to meter. It is a smaller to bigger, so we need to divide, right? So we need to divide. Now, which number is there for dividing? So how many tens are there? One and two. So remember that this one is 100 centimeter equals to one meter. How we get this? Because 10 and 10, 100, right? And uh, there is two tens are there, so 100 centimeter equals to one meter. That means we have to divide here by the 100. Why? Let me do one more step. So one centimeter equals to one by 100 meter. That's why we have to divide by this 100. So let's convert this. This is 17 centimeter is there. That means 17 into, into instead of this centimeter, we need to write down this, divide by 100. So this is one by 100. Now this centimeter will change into the meter. That means it is uh, 0 0.17 meter. So in this way, we can convert from centimeter to meter, right? One more example is there, 150 mm. Let's change that into the kilometer. So let me drop this. <coughs> so question is 150. 150 mm into kilometer, let's say, right? So let's check this, smaller to bigger. So we have to divide, right? Now, which number we uh, divide to for conversion of this? Let's check. Millimeter is here, and the kilometer is here. So how many tens are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, mm equals to one kilometer, 
right? So 1m m equals to 1 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is kilometer. So we have to divide. Why? Because it is from smaller to bigger. And uh, which number we divide by this number, we will divide for the conversion. That means, so from here, this 150 mm equals to 150 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now this mm will change into the kilometer. So this and this cancel. So this you can write down as a 15 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5 kilometer. Meter. Now, how we can write this? This we will discuss later on. It is called the power notation or 10 to the power. So that we will discuss later on, right? So one more question, let's practice. That is two point, so you can see on the slide also, 2.5 kilometer into meter. 2.5 kilometer into meter. Now, it is bigger unit to the smaller unit, that is, Bigger unit to the smaller unit mean it is a multiplication. Now multiplication by which number? Let's see. So here is kilometer and the meter is there. So meter is here and uh, kilometer is here. That means how many tens are there? One, two, and three. That means we can write down here this thousand meter equals to one kilometer. How we got this? This is meter is here and kilometer is here. Right? So between this meter and the kilometer, there is three tens are there. When you multiply that three tens, then that will be thousand. So thousand meter equals to one kilometer. So from this one, this is 2.5 kilometer, right? And one kilometer equals to thousand meter mean this is 2.5. Instead of this kilometer, we need to multiply this by thousand. So it gives 2500. This is meter okay so this one is the answer that's why from bigger unit to smaller unit multiplication and the smaller unit to bigger unit is the divide one clear this one is the method for conversion of a length into the different system of a unit okay so next one measurement of mass is there right mass it is the amount of matter contained on the body which is called the mass what i mean is for example one object is here so number of matters are present, total number of matters are present here. That total number of matter, that is known as a mass. That's why it is the, the mass is the constant everywhere. It, it is depend upon the number of molecule, so it is constant everywhere. And this mass, unit of mass is kg, right? SI unit of mass is kg, and other multiple and sub-multiple of this uh, kg is there, that we are going to uh, explain okay so how we can convert from smaller to bigger from bigger to smaller that we are going to explore and before that what is one standard kg that you might have learned on grade 8 also one standard kg so let's quickly revise that one standard kg okay one standard kg is the mass of platinum iridium okay this is the mass of the platinum iridium which is again preserved on the International Bureau of Weights and Measure, that is on the Paris in France, right? And that mass is considered as a one standard kg. So you can see in the figure also, I have kept that one slide over there. So it, there is given the one platinum iridium rod, right? That is a object whose diameter is equal to the height. This diameter is equal to the height of the object. That mass which is preserved on the France is known as a one standard kg, okay? So let's see uh, how we can convert, how we can convert that kg into the multiple and the sub-multiple. That is conversion of kg to gram, gram to kg, how we can convert, let's see. So for that also the same uh, pattern work. Okay, but what changes we have to do here is instead of meter, we need to write down the gram. Okay, what I mean is milli is as it is, so we, it is considered as a milligram, centigram, decigram, and the gram. So if there is length, we write down this meter, and if there is mass, we write down this gram, right? Then deca, hecto, instead of this kilometer, we write down this kilogram that is kg so this both work 
in the same manner right so let's see how we can convert this one okay and again to divide this uh, division will be there if there is smaller unit to bigger unit is there and the multiplication will be there if there is bigger unit to smaller unit so let's explore some of the example of this one also suppose we have let's say 150 gram is there that we want to change into kilogram kg let's say right how we can convert the in the same previous uh, way we can convert this also so let's check 150 gram into kilogram that is gram is the smaller unit and the kg is the bigger unit that means smaller to bigger we have to divide now which number is there for the division let's see gram is here gram is here and the kg is here so how many tens are there let's count one two and three tens are there that means thousand gram equals to one kg right that means we have to convert this gram into kg mean can we write down like this one gram equals to one by thousand kg right so from here again 150 gram equals to 150 into instead of one gram we can write down this one by thousand kg so if you divide this that will be 0 0.15 kg that means 150 gram is equivalent with the uh, 0 0.15 kg so in this way we can convert similarly if you want to convert let's say 7 kg is there right 7 kg into let's say milligram is there right that we want to convert so in the same way let's check this kg is there it is the bigger unit milligram is there that is the smaller unit from bigger unit to smaller unit that is multiplication so what number we multiply let's check so kilogram is here right this one is the kilogram and milligram is here again there one two three four five and six chains are there so we can convert in the same previous way right that means one two so one two three four five six this milligram equals to one kg right so this kg is there so from here this seven kg is there and instead of kg we can write down this number right 7 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gram, milligram, right? That means 7 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is milligram. So how to write down this? We will discuss a little bit later on. So by this method, we can convert the one system of unit to another system of unit right similarly metric ton is there and the quintal also there this metric ton that is 100 kg equals to one quintal and the thousand kg equals to one metric ton that is also useful for the conversions of a mass so you can see on the slide also right so that also we can use so next one this uh, measurement of time is there the measure, me measurement of time mean it is the interval between the two event right interval between two event is known as the time for example you can uh, see in your school that first period second period there is a some sort of time interval is there that time interval is that duration is known as a time interval right and the uh, one standard second can be defined as the okay let me uh, derive this one standard second okay one me, uh, mean solar day one mean solar day one mean solar day mean one day okay so let me convert this one day into the second that means one day how many hours are there in the one day that is 24 hours right and again let's change this hour into the minute that is 1 into 24 into 60 that is the minutes right again let's change this minute into the second that is 
1 into 24 into 60 into 60 second. This multiplication, it gives that 8, 6, 4, 0, 0 second. That is, in one day, this much second is there. So let's define the second. So this much second equals to one day. And one second equals to 1 by 8640 part of day. So one standard second can be defined as the 1 by 86400 part of a 1 mean solar day. That is the one standard second. So the conversion of this time also there. And uh, we all are familiar different uh, unit of the time. For example, there is days are there, right? So one day, if we want that into the hour, that is 24 hours is there, right? And similarly, one hours, that equivalent with the 60 minutes, right? And one minute, that equivalent with the 60 second. And uh, in one year, how many days are there? 365 days. This is average one, right? So these units can be used for uh, measuring the time, OK? OK, so this is about the measurement of a time. So let's convert some of the time also, OK? Conversion of time also. So let's say we want to convert that 3600 second into, let's say, hour, right? So how to convert this 3600 second into the hour? So we have this 3600 second, 3600 second is there, right? So firstly, the second that we need to change is the minute, that is 60 second equals to one minute. That means one second equals to one by 60 minute is there. That is 3600. This second to change into minute, we have to multiply by this one. That is multiply by one by 60. Now this second will change into the minutes, right? Again, this minute, we need to change that into the hour because we have to change this into hour. That means, again, let's see. Uh, so let's simplify this. This zero, zero cancel, six, one, six, and six, six, 36, right? So it is 60 minutes is there. Similarly, 60 minutes equals to one hour is there. That means one minute equals to one by 60 hours. So this, again, if you multiply by one by 60, then that will convert into the hours, right? So this and this cancel, that means one hour. So 3,600 3, second that convert into hour gives the one hour, okay? So similarly, if we want to convert this 450 hours into the day, let's see next one. So 400, 450 hours are there, that we wants to change into days, let's say, okay? So 450 hours is there to change hours into day, we have to divide by 24, right? So if you divide by 24, then this will change into the days, right? So simplify this, you will get the answer, okay? So in this way, we can convert the uh, unit of length also we can convert and unit of uh, time also we can convert similarly the unit of mass also we can convert okay now let's see the scientific notation or power of 10 which is essential for solving the numerical problem in the physics okay so what we are going to do scientific notation or power of 10 that is the power of 10. It is also called the scientific notation. Okay, distance between them, distance between uh, heavenly bodies, let's say sun and the earth, 
and distance between uh, Sun and the let's say Jupiter, Sun and the Pluto, right? So distance between them it is very large, right? To explain that in the meter, it is very large one. That's why those large number should be expressed in the short form, and that short form is the scientific notation or power of ten. For example, let's say if there is let's say three zero zero zero. Okay, this one number is there. Let's say. Right, so this one number is there. This is the longer form. To write down this longer form, it is difficult also, and it takes the lots of space also. It takes the lots of times also, right? So to shorten this, the scientific notation or power of ten is introduced. One. So how we can explain this? Let's see. So in the scientific notation, the decimal point. Okay, if the decimal point is swift in the left hand side, then the power get increased one okay that is a laws or rules for writing the power of 10 or scientific notation so what i have said if the decimal points is transferred to the left hand side then the power get increased for example this is the decimal is here right now right then after if i sweep this in the one place the power increase so one two three Four, five, six, seven, and eight. That is three into ten to the power eight. So what I have said, if the decimal point is transferred in the left hand side, then the power get increased. That's why the power I have mentioned here, positive one, right? Similarly, next one example. Let's say there is four, five, three, seven, zero, zero, zero. Suppose this one number I have. This I want to change that into the power of 10. So how I can change this? So decimal point, here is no decimal point, mean that is at the last. The decimal point is here. So we need to transfer this on the left hand side. That means one place, two place, three, four, five, and six. That means 4.5 into 10 to the power six. If he wants to write down here, let's say here. So let's see. That is one place, two place, three, four, and five. That means we can also write down this 45.37 into 10 to the power five also. So remember that if we transfer this in the left hand side, then the power get increased. Right? And next one is if the decimal point get transferred on the right hand side, then the power get decreased. That means negative power get increased. So let me take one example. Suppose we have zero point, let's say zero 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 three five seven is there, right? This is the very small number. Uh, whenever there is a atom, distance between the two uh, particles on the atom are there. That is very small one. Right, microscopic object. If there there is, then that is very small one, and this also we can explain in terms of power of ten. So the decimal is already here, and if we transfer this on the right hand side, then the value get decrease. I said, right? That means one place transfer to right hand side, two, three, four. That means if you want to put the point here, that means three point five seven into 10 to the power. Now that should be decrease. That means one, one plus two, three, four plus mean minus four. Because it is transferred to the right hand side, right? Similarly, let's say we have another one number, 0 0.0000. Okay, this one number is there, let's say three, two is there, let's say, right? So how we can change this in terms of power of 10 is, so decimal is already here. We need to transfer that in the right hand side. So one place, two place, three place, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight. That means 3.2 into 10 to the power minus eight. Why this minus eight? Because it is transferred to the right hand side. Clear? So in this way, we can change the very large number into the power of 10 and the very small number in the power of 10. Okay? So some more, one, some more example, let's see. Okay, so suppose we have uh, 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 is there. 
how we can change this into the normal form. Let's see. So decimal point is here, 4.7 is there. And this is negative 3 mean it will transfer to the left hand side. Okay, this is reverse one, just opposite one. That means the decimal point is here. Let's add some zero here. This is minus ten is the, minus three is there. I mean, one place, two place, and the third place. That means it should be transferred the three times. Three digits should be transferred one towards the left to convert this power of ten into the normal form. That means zero point zero zero four seven is the normal form. So you have learned to convert normal form into the power of 10 and the power of 10 into the normal form. So if you have learned this, then that is very beneficial one for study of the physics, okay? Okay, uh, so some uh, more useful conversion is there. So a few I will explain and then we will wrap up this class, okay? So some of the useful conversion is, suppose we have 72, kilometer per hour is there. This we want to convert into the meter per second, okay? This we want to convert into the, into meter per second. So let's see how to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second. This is also useful for numerical problems, so let's see. So let's write down this 72 kilometer per hour. So this notation and this one is similar one. We can use this notation as this also, okay? So kilometer is here. We, want, we need to change this kilometer into meter and this hour into second. So let's change individually. That is 72, this kilometer is there and meter is there. That is higher, bigger you need to smaller unit. That means we need to multiply and multiply by 1,000. As we know that 1,000 meter equals to one kilometer. That means multiply by 1,000. Now this kilometer will change into meter, right? Now here is hour is there. So can you write down this one? One hour, right? Now one hour into minute. Firstly, one multiply by 60. That will be in the minute. And again, if you multiply by 60, then that will be in the second. That means multiply by 60, it gives the second. We need to convert from kilometer per hour into meter per second, which we have done, right? Now, let's simplify this. So this zero and zero we can cancel. This zero and this zero also we can cancel, right? And uh, six, one, six, six, one, Remaining is 1, 1 and 2 is 12, 6 twos are 12. And similarly, this 6, 1, 6, and this one is 2. That means it is equivalent with this 2 into 10. That is 20 meter per second. So in this way, we can convert from this kilometer per hour into the meter per second. That is the method for conversion, this one. So one more example. So let's see, this one is a kilometer per hour into meter per second. Next one is there of density one. Three, three gram per centimeter cube into kg per meter cube. So how can we can convert this one? Okay, so uh, gram is there, you change this into kg as previous. Centimeter cube is there, you change this into meter. So whatever we have done as a previous one, you can follow this step. And in next class, we will continue uh, the more conversion of the unit. So today we have discussed this uh, some conversion, measurement of length, measurement of mass, and measurement of time. So in the next class, we will continue the remaining portion. So thank you very much everyone for joining the class. Thank you very much.